Hello and welcome to another video from I Set Geek Life Entertainment. I am, as always, Steven. So this past weekend, we were at Bangor Comic and Toy Con. And I just thought I'd give a little recap. Uh, tell people how awesome it was, because it was. Uh, we went to a few uh, panels. We saw Anamia and Chelsea Von Chassidy. They were doing a cosplay panel. Uh, it, it was pretty decent. They talked a little bit about uh, how they got into it. And uh, they encouraged a lot of people there to get into it. They said, don't look for someone that has your body type. But just find somebody you identify with and just, you know, make it your own. Which is kind of cool. Because uh, when me and my friends thought, I'm like, I, I, I'd I fucking dress up. But the only uh, the superheroes, villains, comic book characters really that I can think of I could cosplay as is like the blob from X-Men and trust me when I say you do not want to see me in a wrestling singlet you do not so I thought it was cool that they encouraged people and uh, we saw Jim Cummings the man of many voices he does Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, uh, Darkwing Duck that was an excellent panel the dude is funny uh, so if you ever get a chance to see him speak, I mean, do it. Uh, what else did we see? James O'Barr, uh, the creator of The Crow. Uh, we seen him yesterday, the last day of the con. Uh, we're in, he had the panel. And he talked about the comic and being on set. Of the first movie with uh, Brandon Lee, uh, the good movie, and how he's helping <clears throat> do the newer one with Jason Momoa, uh, because he kept the rights to The Crow. These other movies that, like The Crow Salvation, he just, you know, gave permission to let him use. So. Other than that, he said he wasn't involved with the other iterations of The Crow. Uh, that was a great panel. Uh, some great artists at Artist Alley. All the normal uh, locals like Joe Schmalke, Ryan Wayne, Ben... Uh, uh, Bob to I, I don't know how to pronounce his name to cake to cake I don't know I'm butchering it he's from nerd up creations uh, very homo was there G. I. he did G.I. Joe and stuff James O'Barr Steve Levine uh, I didn't really get to go check his stuff out cuz Every time I went by, there was a huge crowd, which is understandable. I mean, he did a lot with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so. Um, I spent a lot of time walking the floor. Uh, the main Ghostbusters were there, Tom. Uh, Tom's a good guy. Uh, I met him several years ago back when he was, uh, when he built the Iron Man. Uh, he was the Iron Man of Maine. He was on Facebook. Uh, he built an Ecto-1. I'm sure the other guys may have helped a little, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, that's about it. It was a great 
event. I fucking love the weekend. Uh, my mind's blank. Fucking. It was good times. Good times. Oh, oh, Gil Mitchell was there. I, I didn't see him, but I think I missed the Keenan and Kel phase that people like me. I mean, I seen Good Bur Burger, but other than that, I was never big into Nickelodeon or anything like that. So. Um. There was a few comic shops and so finally got another long box because it's cheaper than bull moose. Um, got some shit. I seen the guys that, well, Sean from Escape from Jesus Island, and I finally got one. There's, they have four uh, of the. Characters from Escape from Jesus Island as gaming uh, figures. Pewter, I think it, I'm pretty sure it's Pewter. And I got Damien, who's like, if you haven't read the comic series or comic books yet, you should. It's great. Uh, but Damien, he's like, well, for lack of a better term, the big bad. He's the Antichrist. Christ. I wish I had the talent to paint it because I would attempt it because this would look awesome like full color just fucking full bore uh, same colors as in comics but I'm not that talented um, if I want to attempt it I'll probably wait till close to the next con so if I fuck it up too bad I can buy a new one Got a grab bag from Weekend Anime. Who was there? I got another rock candy. Wonder Woman one this time. She'll be going next to Harley. After I figure out how to set up that section of my shelf. And I got some magic cards and Dragon Ball Z cards. Uh, well, magic card holder. Deck holders. And I got a ton of business cards and a patch from Brick City Blockade uh, Podcast Network. And while that looks like a Pokeball, uh, it's the Death Star because it's a bunch of podcasts on the Star Wars. So. I'll be checking that up and probably linking a lot of these on the site, which you can check out at geeklifeentertainment.com. So here's my long box. Waited till the last day to buy this. Because I'm not stupid. Got six bags and, uh, oh no, ten bags and boards. So I can finally put my the truck series. And bags and boards, because I want to display them, because yeah. fucking love truck. Comics weren't as good, but, you know, they're still decent. And I fucking love truck. I wish, I mean, I would be able to die happy if Bangor Comic and Toy Con ever got Zachary Levi or Kevin Smith. Or if they got both in the same year, I could fucking die the day after that weekend was over, because... My life would be complete. It. I got the aggregate by Mr. Ben Bishop. It's a split decision comic. Basically, choose your own adventure, but that's trademarked or copyrighted. Uh -huh. And I'm definitely going to be checking this out soon. Uh, I love. The look of it. I'll probably. I think. I have. 
next Saturday off, so I'll probably do a read through Saturday. But there's that. There will be a review, probably on all the different uh, things. No non spoiler reviews, of course, because you know I don't want to. I try not to take the entertainment out of reading the books for yourself. It doesn't always work that way because I'm shit at explaining stuff most of the time. Uh, finally got a story arc I've been trying to get for like ever. I find them online, but it's like between twenty and fifty bucks. And these ones cost me under than under twenty. And it's a fatal attraction storyline. Um, not because it's an overall good story arc, because I don't remember it. It's mostly for nostalgia, because I remember in high school this came out. It was either my freshman or sophomore sophomore year, and the big thing was that it had the hologram on the side of the cover and the fact that um, Magneto ripped the adamantium out of uh, Wolverine so basically it's a nostalgia thing and I got another rock candy the Enchantress I'm not a big Enchantress fan but it was only I bought this one for four bucks. So it was a good deal. Uh, I didn't buy much. Uh, I'm really bad about taking a huge amount of money. As in, I don't take a huge amount of money with me. Then I get there and I'm like, fuck. I wish I could buy this, I wish I could buy that. But I'm also glad I don't take a lot of money because I would be living in a dumpster if I bought everything I wanted. And of course I got a swag bag because I do it the right way and I get VIP. We got some t shirts, which you guys will probably end up seeing in a video sooner or later. So, got some comics from Compliments of Top Shell, a Justice League, Nervous Rex, and one in the middle, which I haven't seen yet. Ad for we're nerdy as school. This guy has a YouTube channel where he does 3D printer stuff and he built uh, BB-8 and R2D2 and stuff. This guy's talented. I mean, uh, got some prints. I love this one. I think who did this one? D Morales. Oh shit! That's a Shaun of the Dead one. I like, luckily, I like Shaun of the Dead. Uh, an old Van Gorfest poster. A second old Van Gorfest poster. Poster from one of the old Bangor comic toy cons last year. So that's the one I missed. And some prints from Ben Bishop. Uh, Turtles one. Turtles Ghostbusters mashup. And a second Turtles Ghostbusters mashup. Mash is will eventually end up, well at least the prints, not necessarily the Bangor Fest or comic, 
composters. Uh, we'll get hung up about the Ghostbuster prints and that showing of the dead print. Uh, we'll get hung up in frame, most likely. So yeah, that's about it for the weekend. It was good. Next year, when they reveal the dates, you guys should definitely check it out if you're in the Bangor main area. So, until next time, check out our Patreon page if you have the chance. Um, our website, geeklifeentertainment.com or gc3kl1f3.com. Facebook, all those links are in the um, description. Uh, leave us some love, some comments, criticisms. Tell us some things you'd like to see us do. Matt plays games, he'll do some gameplay. Some stuff you think we would dig reviewing or writing about. And it doesn't necessarily just have to be comics, movies, TV shows. You can get into tech. We like tech too. We just don't often get into it on the website anymore, uh, which we hope to change sometime soon. So I guess until next time, I will see you later.